Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I am your host, Mythical Malice. It is Friday in the weekend, February 25th, 2022, approximately 6.30 p.m. on the dot, Central Time. This is it. This is the game that I've been waiting for. Elden Ring has been released. And you need to adjust the music. Elden Ring has been released. This is my first ever uh, Soulsborne game. Um, I have never played Dark Souls. I have never played Bloodborne. I have never played Sekiro. And uh, so this is all new to me, but I am super excited. Um, I've been waiting several months. I've been talking about it <laughs> for quite a few streams now uh, that we were going to be playing this uh, on release day. And that day is here. Um, there have been reports of some performance issues on PC, uh, unfortunately, but I have taken measures um, to hopefully alleviate most of those. I did watch some videos on settings to tweak um, as uh, to help with those potential issues. And so hopefully we have uh, just prevented those from happening at all. We shall see. But we got we got games here. We got a game. Um, like I said, I'm super excited for this. Uh, we are running the current version after the day one patch uh, at version 1.02, and so uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump in here. Um, oh, if you want to know what some of the changes I made are, um, in advanced settings, uh, these are the in-game settings. I'm not gonna show. There's some computer settings that you can make, but in-game settings, uh, it is recommended to turn depth of field off, motion blur to low, volumetric quality to low, global illumination to low, and grass to medium. So those are the recommended settings from various sources across the interwebs. That being said, let's get into it. All right, I uh, we are going to be playing a controller as well. Um, I think I already got this the way I wanted it set. So we'll, we'll hit next on this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, reset Y axis. Camera reset also resets the camera. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, cinematic effects. Heck yeah. Camera speed, we'll just leave it the way it is for now. All right, next. Uh, I believe this does have a character creator. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, Vagabond A or B, Warrior A or B. Oh, there's there's a lot. Oh boy, a uh, hero. Bandit, Astrologer, Prophet. What the heck are they wearing on their neck? Samurai Prisoner. It's creepy. Uh, confessor and a wretch, huh? Do we just want to run around in our undies? Confessor looks kind of cool. Uh, I don't know, like... Oh, here we go. Show status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level 1. Oh, a wretch starts at level 1. What the heck? Um, and it looks like it has lower stats in, like, literally everything else. On average. Than the other classes do. Uh, it also has, like... You only have a club and a torch. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's look at this. Uh, Vagabond starts at level 9. Vigor, mind, endurance, strength, dexterity, intelligence, faith, and arcane. Oh, man. Like I said, I have never played a Soulsborne game before, so this is all new. New to me. Um. <coughs> I mean, Vagabond has, like, pretty high stats uh, overall. 
like if you average it across there. Um, the hero here, level seven. Strength is pretty high, and Arcana is also pretty good. I like the look of the bandit. The bandit looks pretty dope. Um, I don't know like what this all means. What does the help button explanation? A cumulative figure that represents overall attribute strength. You can level up using ruins. Oh, so you can like okay, you can kind of just look through the list there. Um. Hmm. Uh, view controls, and I don't need that. Oh, buddy. Okay. Um, astrologer. Really high intellect and mind, but kind of low-ish on everything else. I really like the look of the female bandit. The look of the female hero is also pretty cool. I think it's more so the stance, actually. The stance is so much cooler than just them, like, dude, just standing like this. I'm, I'm a man <laughs> just doing that. Meanwhile, she's like, you know, I got my weapon. I'm actually ready to fight. Um, prisoner nine. Samurai, kind of dope. Yeah, definitely not the rich. Um, ba, 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 ba. I don't like the confessor. I think we're gonna go with the bandit. I don't know if this like gives you anything. Um, I you can see there like they have starting uh, web items. They have starting items. It looks like looks like they have a little dagger and a shield and also a bow. These guys have what looks to be a staff of some sort and a sword. Uh. These guys have a spear and what looks like nunchucks <laughs> I don't, or pliers. They can go around and just uh, like pull your teeth out. But I feel like that'd be more of the confessor's job. Oh, no, they also get pliers. Perfect. Um, Samurai gets the most amount of stuff. They also get what looks to be fire arrows. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, let's do Bandit. Uh, we'll do Type B. Name! Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I'm just... Oh, gosh. Can I spell it right? There we go. Mythic! Body type. Type B. Body type has no bearing on ability. Age, young. Age only affects appearance, has no bearing. Okay. Origin, bandit. Dangerous bandit who strikes for weak points. Excels at ranged combat with bows. Ooh, here we go. A stalwart hero at home with a battle axe, descended from a Badlands chief. Ah. I think I need to turn the brightness up on my monitor here. Oh yeah, it's set to 27%. What the heck? Let's go to like 35. Yeah? Yeah, that's better. Now I can actually see. Um Yeah, we'll we'll stick with Bandit. Keepsake. No keepsake. The past has been well and truly left behind. Crimson Amber Medallion. Increases maximum HP. Used to gain many ruins. Okay. Uh, said to reinforce sacred flasks. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. A container for certain throne items. Uh, breaks the seal on imp statues. Can only be used once. Said to originate from the uh, five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Boosts physical damage negation. And, oh, Shibiri's Woe attracts enemies aggression. Um, used to gain many ruins. You know, given that it's my 
first Soulsborne game. I wish there was kind of something that gave me more dexterity. Uh, or whichever one gives you the ability to, to dodge more. Uh, you know, maximum HP. Not gonna hurt. Choose base template. Warrior, true seeker. Oh, that's right. You can, uh... Oh, gosh. What is that? <laughs> she kind of... She just kind of looks like a witch. Night folk. Newman. I wonder, does it, I don't think this actually changes anything. All right, let's do, oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> feeling I'm going to be hearing that sound a lot because I'm going to die a whole lot. Skin color. Oh gosh. Pink. Very pink. Oh, we could just be white. <laughs> it's like they like dove in a in like a pile of chalk. Is there just like straight black? Oh my gosh, there is. Hello, Liz. We're just going to no one will ever find us. We're just going to hide. With that pure black color. <laughs> um. <laughs> this one's fine. Oh gosh, we can get like super. We just can get super in depth here. Yeah, form emphasis. I don't know what that means. That's racist. How's that racist? Okay. Can I just use my mouse and just... There we go. Oh, what the... Look at her face! <laughs> Here. <laughs> Look at her face. It just gets all, like, squished. Can I zoom in? Oh, gosh. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You don't do that. Parent age. In facial aesthetic. What does that mean? Oh, you got. <laughs> You can you can definitely make people look really funny in this game, that's for sure. Uh I just want to change her eye color. Where do I change her eye color? Uh eyebrow. Here we go. Eyes. Here we go. Oh, you can have different colors. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh Left iris color. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have different colored eyes. Let's go. Skin features. Cosmetics. Oh, we can have tattoos. We can have eyeliner. Oh, whoa. Look at that. There you go. Okay. Whoa. Eyeshadow upper. How's uh how's your week going, Liz? Or how did it go? It's over now, I guess. Any special plans for the weekend? Uh, cheeks, cheek color, lipstick. Vroom. Oh gosh. <laughs> I 
You get like, give her like super dark purple lipstick. Make her look kind of weird. Given the rest of her makeup and her eye color. Yellow. Liz, how do you feel about yellow lipstick? Would you ever wear yellow lipstick? Have you worn yellow lipstick? Just do white again. We just made it. Oh, you can you can adjust the color. Aha ha ha. Okay. I want there we go. I was like, I want like just red red. Perfect. Uh what? No, 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 no. That's the color I want. Yeah, there we go. Um We will bring it down just a little bit though. Perfect. Uh no. Alright. And then I don't like her hair. We need... Oh gosh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I do like the... I do like the high ponytail. Is there... Is there like a high ponytail... option somewhere? Oh, I don't like the bald. Nope. Not the shaved head. No bueno. Oh, here we go. I like this one. The braid. I'm gonna go with that. Root darkness. White hairs. Whoa. Ah. Yeah. There we go. Tattoo. Oh, it's on her face. Why would the tattoo be on her face? Whatever. Okay. Alter body. Head, chest, abdomen, arms, legs, body hair. Oh. <laughs> Your legs. You're on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, save to favorites? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Um, oh, here we go, finish. I was like, where do I go to actually play the game? Liz, did you leave already? Ooh. The fallen leaves tell a story. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Ooh. Godwin the Golden that looks like it hurts. first to perish. It does not look like a good time. Soon, Maricus offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shards 
of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. That's a snake eating the dude's brain. Nice. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. This is a great intro sequence. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othmir. They all know him. Those are ears. He's buried in ears. And one other whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Hey, that's me. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. How it rhymed. I love it when it rhymes. And become the Elden Lord. New! The ring. I pressed Y. I don't know what that did. Uh... Okay. We're in. My first ever... Soulsborne game. Buckler Perry. Um, I don't know... Oh, here we go. Ah. I got a jump. Uh, R1 is looks like a quick attack. And looks like you can. How many? How many combos is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Six combo? That's a heavy attack. Okay, and it looks like you cannot chain a light to a heavy. Yeah. All right. Left trigger is parry. Left bumper just holds your shield out. <laughs> I don't know what she's blocking, um, but hopefully whatever it is is aimed directly at her chest and nowhere else because uh, it's not going to do a whole lot. Ooh. Okay, so right stick changes the camera. B. He does a dodge. Okay. He does a jump. Nice sprint. You can sneak. I don't know how to sprint. Uh, when I press X, she does whatever that is. Like, she's trying to grab something. It looks like I'm missing something out of my inventory. Uh, oh gosh. No. 
If you press, if you hold Y and then press up on the D-pad, you get this. Lose all runes to return to the last site of grace visited. Absolutely not. All right. Read message. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Uh, oh, pillage remains. Tarnish Wise and Finger. Ooh. Okay. What's that? How do I... Ah, here we go. Okay. Um, equipment. With the equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. You can equip up to three armaments each to your left and right hands. The actions each armament performs will vary based on which hand is wielding it. Okay, so we've got 30 arrows. We can carry up to 99, it looks like. Got our bow. That's our armor there. And there's it looks like there's more stuff that we can have, but we don't. Okay, that's fine. Inventory. With the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools from the inventory menu. X, show large image and explanation. Y's toggle character. Okay, so Y goes back and forth between those. Oh, I got different attack powers. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we go. The memory of grace... Of the memory of First Grace, which once guided bygone tarnished to the lands between, lose all runes and return to the last side of Grace visited. It is merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring, become the Elden Lord. And then, oh, item for online play. What? Used to write messages. Your messages will be conveyed to other worlds, allowing other players to read them. A finger of corpse wax, so emaciated the bone is visible. It's a relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. Okay. We have nothing else here. Oh, we got... Okay, so this is our weapon. Got our short bow. Got our arrows. Got our buckler. And there's the rest of our stuff. And nothing there. <laughs> What's up, beard? Yeah, it's uh it's doing it's doing the rounds, that's for sure. I literally have just done created my character and I'm in the first room and I'm just like learning the menus. So, cuz I've never played a Soulsborne game, so I I need to figure out like what I'm doing. All right, status menu. With the status menu, you can check your level, attributes, base stats and more. The information here also reflects changes to your attack, defense and resistances bestowed by ar bestowed by armaments and armor that you have equipped. Never been a fan of the Souls game, to be honest, but should be fun to watch. Yeah, they never, like, interested me that much. Um, like, they were fun to watch, but I never, like, felt like the like a great desire to play them. But then for some reason, like, Elden Ring, it just really piqued my interest. So, um, that's what we're doing. That's how, that's how we, that's how we got here. That's how we got here. Okay. So that's status, messages, multiplayer, item crafting, can't do it yet, and system. So the system is just for settings. Okay. Ouch. Gestures. So. Okay. Ah, here we go. Can I shoot an arrow? Here. No? How do I shoot an arrow? Here? Uh, there we go. I think it's because it's open world. Uh, I don't know. Oops. Can I get this back? Nope. All right. Well, there goes one of my arrows. <laughs> it is going to take a bit to getting used to. So the attack button is uh, right bumper. It's right bumper and right trigger. It's not like A or X or anything. It's 
So I think I think it's it it, it looks very cinematic. Um, the story seemed a lot more intriguing to me than uh, Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Um, and then I, I do like a good challenge. So it just it being a Soulsborne game is, you know, that has a pedigree for it being challenging. <laughs> so but I, I think it's more so the story and, and stuff that, that, that got me. Control sounds similar to the bit of DS1 that you played. Yeah, I did know that like I, when you watch like speed runs of Dark Souls games, uh, they do talk about like uh, attack patterns. And so they're like R1, R1, R2, R1, 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 R2. Um, and they'll actually like list off like the button presses that they're doing. So like I didn't know that, but it's just weird actually having to do it. Oh, wow. Chapel of Anticipation. Oh, nice. You can just kind of like smash stuff. Less than 15 minutes until I run into some horrible enemy. Well, I can, uh, I can prove you wrong by just not leaving this area right away. <laughs> but no, absolutely. I 100% agree. Uh, oh, hello. The door is blocked shut. Okay, so that means there's something else in here. Oh, there is an upper floor. Is there a way to get to the upper floor? It is very dark. Very dark in here. My my Indiana my Indiana Jones spirit is uh is like tingling right now. Uh, I also don't know how to sprint yet. I haven't figured out how to do that. I know how to sneak. I don't know how to sprint. Maybe it's in the menu. System. Um, reset camera, crouch, stand up, movement, guard, S left trigger is skill, whatever that means. No, left bumper, uh, is my, uh, shield. Yeah, I don't see a, whoops, I don't see a, a sprint button here. Yeah, uh, left trigger, left trigger is parry, sorry, left trigger is parry. Left bumper is she just puts her little buckler up. Um, and then that changes if I switch to my bow. That pulls the... That actually does this. So. Bar, camera, oh, and yeah, we got stairs. Yeah, it looks really good. There have been uh, reports of... Um, performance issues on PC. And so before... And, and front software has acknowledged it, but they don't have a fix yet. It's literally launch day. Um, so they, uh, I, I went online before the stream and I found a video where someone was going through some reported solutions. And so I just did all of them. <laughs> and so hopefully we don't have any issues. It was nothing major, but they were, it's like stutters that happen during open world exploration and sometimes during boss battles, which is not good. Uh, the last thing I need is a ridiculously hard game uh, and frame stuttering issues in the middle of a boss battle. So, oh, and B, B is dodge. Oh, I fell off. So I don't, I don't have my little stamina thing, which makes me worried, like in the top left corner. Oh, that's a, there's a statue, a bigger statue. There's two statues right here as well. Uh, 
I hope there's a way you can come back to this starting area. Because uh, I do, I would like to go through whatever that locked door is. It looks great so far, though. And I'm not even running on the highest graphic settings because one of the performance issue solutions. What are the blowing leaves? Huh? Uh, one of the the performance solutions for the uh, optimization issues that are occurring on PC was to like turn down certain graphical settings. So this is not even like the highest. Like I have I have like probably one third of the graphical settings set to the lowest value. <laughs> so uh, if I can ever get to the point where I can turn them all on, it's going to look even better. But no, it, especially just the art style, though, um, is amazing. You missed the intro cutscene, which was super cool. Very unfortunate. But that's okay. It does look like a boss door, which is why I'm going the opposite direction. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh-oh. Well, what's that? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Ow. Ow. Okay. I, I have no way of healing myself either, so... You get his gear if you kill him. Okay. So I wasn't supposed to win that. Cool. I'm on a black screen. I hope that's intentional. Oh, I saw a little loading icon on the top. Okay, we're good. It was not developer intended. That's the <laughs> that's the key. <laughs> but it is cool that they account for people who do beat it regardless. Hello, horsey. You've got horns. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. How did she not drown with her face in the water? Oh, don't kneel in the river. One Your dress is going to get soaked. sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. What is the Golden Order? So, uh, they did that in Sekiro as well. If you beat the first boss, which you weren't supposed to... Actually, no, sorry. They did something different in Sekiro, but they did account for people beating the first boss in Sekiro. Um, you're supposed to lose to the first boss in Sekiro, and he cuts your arm off. Um, however, if you are about to defeat the first boss, someone... Uh, one of his minions shows up and shoots you in the back with an arrow, which stuns you long enough for the boss to cut your arm off, and then you still lose the fight anyways. <laughs> New Flask of Crimson Tears. Flask of Cerulean Tears. Okay, so we've got... What are, what are those? What do they do? Um, inventory? Um... Okay, so Crimson Tears. Build the Crimson Tears. Flask restores HP with use. Okay. And then Cerulean Tears restores FP. What is FP? I don't know what FP is. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we'll figure it out. Is that mana? Okay. Read message. The cave of knowledge lies below. Uh, 
If you talk to this person... Oh, here we go. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge. Of learning and remembrance. Okay, so it looks like we have two options. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. We can either go through the door or we can jump into the pit. Um... Oh, we got... We got something up there. Here we go. HUD display. Gosh, it is so dark. How dark is it on stream? Can you see a thing? I can turn this up a bit. It's very dark. I mean, it's probably intended. But... Are you getting food? All right. Okay, so somehow we got to get up there. <clears throat> All right, uh, fear. Do I go through the door that the cinematic showed me to go through or do I jump into the pit of knowledge? I'm scared. <laughs> Also, just kind of like looking around to see if there's anything else I missed. I don't think so. I like this glowing tree, though. This is very cool. I like it. Uh, we'll try going in the pit. Yeah? See what happens. Uh, using items. Use item. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why? Oh. That was dumb. I just used up my only mana regen potion. I don't even have any spells, so I don't know if, I, <laughs> if it matters, but. All right, here we go. Sight of Grace. Resting at a Sight of Grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. will also refill your sacred flasks. All right. However, most of the enemies you defeated will be revived. You can find the sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items that can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Okay. Oh, hello. Sir? Oh my gosh, I one-shot him. Bro, let's go. I mean, I did... hit him from behind with a heavy attack. But still... Oh, hey, there's a second one. Hey, hi, guy. How you doing? Oh, I did not mean to, uh, that was a mistake. I accidentally drank my, uh, my thing. Uh, guarding. Use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stance will be broken. Um, I think it does, but I am not 100% for sure on that. Oh, well, I tried. Gosh, dang it. I'm trying to figure out how to parry here. I want to parry. I want to see what happens. Come on. There we go. Oh! Okay, so you can do a parry. Very nice. All right. I need to quit hitting the X button to attack because that is how you drink your flask. And I don't want to do that. That's a terrible idea. All right. Dodging. Yeah, I know how to do that. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, this is pretty. Uh-oh. There's a guy with a bow up here. Arrows travel really slow. What the heck? Oh, what is this? <gasps> Acquire materials? Heck yeah. Rafting! In every corner of the lands between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for crafting. And okay, there's a couple of these. Let's grab that as well. What oh, this? No? Okay. Oh, now he falls down. Hey, bud. Gosh dang it. I drank the thing again. Ow. Okay, there's definitely backstab. I just backstabbed that guy. Very nice. Alright, I am out of all of my healing items now because I keep hitting the X button. It's very neat, stupid of me. Alright, wielding armaments. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength. Y plus left bumper, right bumper, wield with two hands. Oh. Left bumper. Okay. Uh, are you gonna... Can you do anything? Ow! Come on, bud. Gosh dang. I did it again. I have like none of my health now and again no heals but you know it is what it is i guess oh here we go Here we go. Bows. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can equip up to two types of arrows to choose from at once. When wielding a bow with two hands, hold left bumper for precision aiming. Use R to adjust your aim. Right bumper is arrow type 1. Trigger is type 2. Okay, so if I go like this, and then I... Here we go. No? Cheer. The headshots do anything? Ooh, it does do more damage. Very nice. Alright, skills. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FE. Skill left trigger. Oh, that's by uh, parry. Okay, right now.
All right, crouching. Crouch makes it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Okay. So the Cave of Knowledge is literally just the tutorial area. So that's how you can like go ahead and just skip it is you just uh, you just go through the door instead. Where is that the cave I was in? No, that's that's different. Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy stance. Right trigger, hold to charge attack. Right trigger while jumping to jump attack. Stakes of Merica. Upon dying, you will revive at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if, if there is a stake of Merica near where you died, you can choose to be, right, be revived there instead. Nice. Do I hit it? What do I do? Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, this is a boss room. Cool. All right, boss room with less than half health and no heals because I... I'm an idiot and kept pushing the wrong button. Soldier of Godric. Oh, hey there, bud. Guard counters. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. Okay. Uh, oh. And I think the game just crashed. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got the little spinny wheel. Beautiful. I love it. Uh. Okay. In that task. To try this again. Hopefully, uh, I didn't lose too much progress. We'll see. Because I haven't saved. And I don't know if there's an autosave. I don't even know how to save. I don't know what the button is. Um, so, <laughs> so hopefully it did it for me. At the end of the previous session, quick game might not have been selected from the system menu. Please use quick game from the system menu when you wish to end your play session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have loved to. Usually the campfires or whatever it's called in the game are kind of an autosave. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too far. All right. Um, what if I push this button? Ah, here we go. Oh, this is the map menu. With the map menu, you can check your current position and terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. That's the Cave of Knowledge one, and this is where I am right now. I could, yeah, I would just have to, uh, like, 
I could just run past them all. Well, I could uh, slightly jog past them all because you can't. I can't sprint. <laughs> but that is an option. Um, we'll we'll just give this another shot. We'll just give this another shot. Okay, first shot. First try. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. I think I got a crit in there somewhere because he lost like half of his health on a single hit at one point. Yeah, this is the window I was looking through earlier. Yep. Guys. I don't know why everybody thinks Soulsborne games are hard. I just, I did that on my first try. No problem. Uh, is this the way I came through? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, what about here? New, oh, I got a new emote. I got a new emote. Okay, so I got a question here. Uh, you can't see it right now, but like on the other side of this wall, there is a, a ledge um, where there is like an item that can be collected. I want to know how to get that item. And I don't see any way to get it. All right, we'll do, we'll just go through. We'll just keep going. Ooh, some frame frame stutters there. Yeah, you can see it up there. There it is, right up there. But I didn't see anywhere where I could pick that up. Which kind of sucks. Oh well. We're gonna we're gonna move on. Oh man, yeah, those frame drops are awful. Alright, all I ask is that you let me get to a new Place of grace. And don't let me die here. Oh, hey, look, a new place of grace. Oh, we got fog here already. All right. Ever tell you about how you had to surrender your bench made at the airport a while back? No. Is that, is that like your knife? Right? Or is that something else? Oh, I got a cool little... What the heck is the stone sword key? Yes. Oh, I don't have one. Okay. I guess that's what allows you... It is your knife. Okay, yeah. No, you know, you did not tell me about this. Okay, we recharged our stuffs. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't. Here we go. Flasks and charge flask. Uh, uh. What do I? What? Uh, until noon. He ordered a new one. Oh, okay. That's good. Did I get my my stuff back? Okay, I got all my stuff back. We're good now. Why did they take it from you? Uh, use tarnish furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Uh, cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally. 
um, and your objective is to defeat the area boss, the compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summer summoner. Okay. I don't... Don't... Uh, I'm not playing online. I disabled that. I don't want people invading my world, so... It was in your bag at TSA and you didn't know because they had missed it in the first time around. Oh... Well, that's a bummer. I do find it funny that they missed it the first time, though. <laughs> uh, doesn't, like, the TSA have, like, a 90-plus percent failure rate whenever they get audited? Something like that. TSA is... not good. Uh, how does this work? Do I just stand on it? Oh, I just stand on it. There we go. Oh, the lever is to call it. You're saying just miss it a second time? Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes there's like stuff hidden in the jars. Also, I'm just treating this like a Zelda game where maybe I'll find some rupees in the broken jars. Okay. I am playing as Link because she literally just lifted the door like you do as adult Link, Link in Ocarina of Time. Like, oh, I need to go through this door? Instead of opening it, I'm just going to lift it up out of the ground. Yeah, the white torches? Slick. I like it. Um, here we go. I think we're this is our first opening out into the, uh, the real world. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Look at it. I love it. Oh my gosh. This is great. A big old tree. Oh, we got some crafting materials here. Yeah, I'll take those. Thank you. We got whatever this is. Examine. Summoning pools. In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning. So, oh. I'm not going to use any of these because I don't have any friends who play this game. And uh, I also don't have online multiplayer turned on, so... Uh, that guy right there, or or that one over there. That dude. Oh, okay. The map! Use your map to check your current position, as well as the terrain and surrounding areas. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at steels along the road. You can also use the map to freely place beacons. Oh, yeah, you read that over. Yeah, that guy over there. Hello. Hello, dude. Uh, I think that I think that's actually the guy that they show in the gameplay trailer from like two or three months ago, and they showed uh, a co-op fight. So like they invited their friend into their game world, and then they both fought that guy. Oh yes, tarnished are we? I am Down yes. To the lands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you. However, you are maidenless, without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, that was, uh, hopeful. Guidance of Grace. Grace exists to guide the Tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. Yeah, so it looks like a next thing of Grace is over in this direction. Maybe at that church or that building over there? But first, you would have to get past the dude on the horse. Um, we got some birds over here. Let's go look at the birds. Hello, birds.
Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think you saw a dog or something down there too. Oh, great. Uh, I know from watching speedrunners that dogs are absolutely horrible. Like, they will wreck you real quick. Dang it! What is this? Can I pick this up? Oh, that was a skull. <laughs> I thought it was a ball. Oh, that looks like you can walk down there. Or something. I don't know how to get down there safely, though. We got another skull. Uh, it's got a giant hole in it. So. Can you actually go all the way down to the beach? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that looks so good. I like it. Yeah, I thought it was like an egg or a mushroom. Like maybe the birds, it was like the bird's egg or something. Oh, we got some... We can't, I can't catch these guys because I can't sprint. Oh, but maybe I can sneak. Maybe I can sneak up to them. Here we go. Ooh, bird leaf flower. All right, if I see them again, I'll try. Oh, here we go. Make her, bud. I want to kill you and see what you give me. Oh my gosh, you're going so far. There you are. I see you on the other side of the rock there. There we go. What do we got? Tight and thin beast bones. Okay. All right. I think that's enough poking and prodding for now. Um, let's hit up this site of grace again quick. Hopefully that counted as a save. Oh, I think it did because these materials are now back. And I can collect them. What's this? This is another skull. That's a shiny skull. Why is this shell sky skull shiny? Oh. Golden ruin. What does that do? Hold on. Let me get away from the dude on the horse, and then I'm going to check my inventory. Uh, the game does not actually pause when you go into your inventory. So you need to be careful. Here we go. Uh, grace that dwells within the inhabitants of the lands between the lingering trace of gold use a used to gain a small number of ruins. Ruins are nourishment for the development of any tarnished. Provide a finger made in it. Provided a finger made in can be found. Oh, so it's how you level up. Okay. So it's like souls um, from uh, Dark Souls. Uh, this is a sheep thing. More thin beast bones, okay. All right. A ruined fragment. Ah! Why is the guy on the horse over here? You're supposed to go the other direction. I came this way, so I would be away from you. I don't want to fight horse guy. church go. Oh, all of these... There's a bunch of people that have been crucified. That's not good. 
That's disturbing. Here we go. All right. In beast bones. Maybe. Oh, look. Here we go. Church of Ella. I'll, I, I'll give it a go here. I'll give it a go in here. Say, I want to talk to Santa Claus over there first. <laughs> All right. Fast travel to sites of grace. Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you have discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Hello, Santa. What are you doing? What are you holding? He's got... Look at that. Do you see that on his hand? Uh, he's got... Or there's a hand on the end of his stick. He's got like... <laughs> it's just like a little hand on the end of his stick there. What the heck? You're a tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see... That you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? Ah, and we got a merchant. Purveyor of fine goods. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. He's got a weird-looking donkey been thing. Tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring, it's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Uh, recommendation. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. Okay. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. I wonder if he actually plays that instrument. All right, shop menu. With the shop menu, you can spend ruins to purchase various items. You can also sell ru items for ruins. Each merchant stocks a different variety of items for purchase. Okay. Uh, we can get throwing daggers. We got a telescope. That would actually be kind of cool. Uh, cracked pot. Container required for crack crafting cracked pot items. <laughs> Guys, we got a crack pot. There <laughs> we go. We got a crafting kit, though. Enables the practice of item crafting. Uh, how much? I have. Looks like I have 600 ruins. So. Uh, we've got bolts. We've got arrows. Missionary's cookbook, huh? Uh, we've got a torch. Large leather shield. Does this. This does not show differences between what you have and what is actually, like, what would change if you equipped it. That's annoying, kind of. What is this? Earl Calling Finger Remedy. Reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. Oh, I don't care about that. Um, so I think I should definitely get the crafting kit. What else we got? Oh, these are just the different categories. All right, let's get the crafting kit. And the cracked pot, I guess. Container required for crafting cracked pot items. So, uh, looks like it's... This is a consumable item, though, so if you use it to craft something, it is consumed upon use. Uh, whereas, it looks like the crafting kit is permanent. Yeah, we'll take that, I guess. And then I can get some arrows. Oh, I, I bought a single arrow for 20 ruins. What the heck? That's stupid. Uh, what do I have to sell? Ruin fragment and golden ruin. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. 
All right, item crafting. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more by finding cookbooks. Oh, that was the second thing it? there. Still going to purchase something. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him again. Goodbye for now. All right, item crafting. The item crafting menu, you can make various items from materials that you find. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. So I can make a fire pot. Well, I can't, but I know how to. Uh, I can make bone darts. Huh. Make roa raisin. What does it do? Um, on horseback, feed to torrent to restore HP. Okay. Oh, so your horse can die. That's what that means. Oh my gosh. Rainbow stone. Rune fragment that has undergone some simple processing. Craftable item. Stones such as these shine with the colors of the rainbow, making them useful markers when placed on the ground. And also be dropped to gauge the distance of a fall. The higher the pitch of the sound, the higher the likelihood of the fall being fatal. Oh, that's kind of actually, that's kind of cool. Although I didn't think that uh, there was fall damage in this game. I thought they said that. Once used to entertain children on the fringes of the lands between. Hmm. Let's make like 10 of these. Hooray, I crafted my first thing. All right. Let's go check this out. Strengthening armaments at a smithing table. You can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. All right, hey, we got a single smithing stone. Very nice. With the smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. You can strengthen them up to three, up to plus three at a smithing table. Somewhere in the lands between, there's a blacksmith who can make them even stronger. All right. So I don't have any runes to make these better, which is very unfortunate. But that's okay, I guess. What if I kill his donkey? Do you think he'd be upset? All right, should we go take horse guy? Let's go fight the horse guy. Oh, wow. Horse guy is right here. Oh gosh, dang it. I pushed the wrong button again. <laughs> All right, I'm dead already. Oh man. Uh, I hit X to attack. That is not the button. That is not the button to do that. All right, death. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited, and you will drop any runes in your possession uh, at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming them, they will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction. Okay. It's a good thing I only had seven ruins. That is fine. I will collect the ruins, though. Oh, gosh, dang it. Whoa, there's some stutters. Ow. <laughs> Try 
three sentinels. So I hit him, what, four times and it took less than 5% of his health off. I may want to wait. Wait to fight this guy. Yeah. Like I said, it would also help if I would stop trying to heal myself. Uh, before I even start the fight by pressing the wrong button. I need to go get my... my money back. Oof. Those are some pretty rough frame drops that we're getting here. Okay. Yeah, I got all seven of my monies back. Ooh, I got another golden ruin. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> so I see a large flying creature over there, so I'm gonna not go that direction. Uh, what is this? Right here. Okay, just a, just a little skull thing. Yeah, you see that? Don't want to fight that. We're gonna stay over here. Like, there's like a lot of sheep and kangaroo things around here. I don't really know what they're supposed to do, but... Alright, I do want to follow... Uh, this, uh... This thing of light over here, though. Get a look for where it's kind of like aiming right towards the left side of the tree there, so we'll give that a shot. Uh oh, I thought that dude in front of me was on fire. <laughs> I was like, I don't I don't know if I want to fight a guy who willingly sets himself on fire and walks around. But maybe I will sneak up on him. There's a guy, like, sitting over here. Oh, there's two guys. Um, that dude has... something in front of him. And I want whatever it is. Oh my gosh. That was intense. Ooh. Kukri. Those look like throwing knives of some sort. Alright, where is the church at? <gasps> a big turtle! Guys, look at the big turtle. Hello. I like you. I'm gonna leave you alone. You're cool. That looks like an egg. It, well, that's a... A flying thing. I think that's a hive, not an egg. And I do not want to mess 
with a hive. So I won't. I will just leave. Ooh, it's raining. Don't press X. Don't press X. Okay, I didn't press X. Okay. I'm gonna go get this guy. What are these? Ooh, root resin. We got a mushroom. That's good. We need a mushroom for a specific crafting recipe that looked really interesting. Wonder if I can. Um. Oh, I need I need a smoldering butterfly to make a fire pot. Ah, but this here though, pearl calling finger remedy, reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. Um, yeah, I, I don't care about that. Alright, those are the only crafting recipes that I know so far. Rove side cave, huh? Alright. This might be our first dungeon. I love how I can totally see where I'm going. Oh, that's a wolf. Hello, wolf. Cave moss. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, shoot. Ow. Oh, gosh. There is, there is a lot of them. Okay, now I want to heal. Ow. Thin beast bones, thin beast bones. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, there's one more somewhere. Where? All right, there you are. Hey, bud. If I if I do the jump attack thing. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to heal, but oh well. Oh, we got a free cracked pot. Very nice. Oh, shoot. I healed again. I healed again or attempted to. I'm very stupid. I need to stop. Glowstone. Golden Ruin. Silver Firefly. Okay. Another one. Ooh. Okay. I'll take all the fireflies. Okay, so there's a boss on the other side of this door. Um, Let's go back. We're going to heal up and we're going to attempt 
uh, coming in here again. And hopefully this time I don't lose all of my stuffs. Summoning pool is now functional. I wonder if I could just run by them all. You think I can do that? Okay, you can just walk by them. Beastman of Furumazula. Oh, great. What was that? Great, my game froze. Cool. So I'm not seeing any, like my graphics card is not overheating. Um, my GPU usage is totally fine. So there's nothing like wrong with my hardware per se. Just really doesn't like the boss fights. All right. Give this another go. Ugh. The Bandai Namco screen is just pure white. <laughs> right in your face um oh wow it's like really chugging to, to load in here there we go yeah i know i would have i would have used the quit game button if i was allowed to Status madness. Oh, I didn't get to finish that. Um, okay. Good thing I went and saved. Because that means I can just roll right on through. Hello, doggo. Okay. Ow. Okay. Oh, you got me with the last one there.
What? What? I, I pushed a button. I swear I pushed the button. No. Okay, so I had 754 whatevers. So I'll have to grab that before I die <laughs> in my next attempt here. I wonder if I should, uh, should I do, should I do this? There we go. Should I two wield my, my thing? Oh, actually, didn't I get a new weapon? I thought, uh, oh no, I got throwing knives. That's what that was. Go to inventory. Yeah, these, these right here. Kukri. Throw out enemies to inflict damage and build up onset of blood loss. Okay. How do I... Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, use. Dang it. Uh. Uh. Inventory. Leave selected. How do I? How do I put it into my thing emerge? Oops. Leaves selected. Okay. No. Leaves selected. Equipment. No. No. Um. Ah, here we go. Yes, put it there. Okay, and then we'll still switch to two-handed here. And then we'll switch to here. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Where's my dead thing? Ow. Ow. I tried to heal, but I had the, the daggers equipped. <laughs> okay. This will take some getting used to, but we'll get it. Okay, but now that I know what I'm doing... Um, inventory. Oh, it, it actually, like, consumed it, consumed it. So now I only got one left. Well, that's no bueno. Okay. Well, so much for that. I wonder if you can get them like wedged in the I wonder if you could get them like stuck in a corner or something. Uh 
All right. I think I've gotten him to, down to the same amount of health every single time. I don't think I have progressed at all. stuck on the thing. Get out of there. Okay. I think I've gotten them. This is the furthest I've ever gotten them. Dang it. Guys, I made it a quarter of the way through. <laughs> I went from one third to one quarter. No, that's not right. I went from like one fifth to one quarter. I'm going in the wrong direction there. With my fractions. <laughs> Five out of four people have problems with fraction. Fun fact. Uh, you bet a parry would do a ton of damage to this guy if he could hit. Yeah, maybe. Problem is I removed my buckler, so I can't parry anymore. Gosh, I hate this attack. Oh, I got a got a whatever on him. Nice. right now. Look at my health bar. Look at my health bar. How am I alive? Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> a little loud. Game is a little loud there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I was still moving. <laughs> I think it was more like 0.1 HP. Um, oh, 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 dude. Okay. Okay. So when you do wield or when you two hand this weapon, you can do this little like thing. You can still block. Blocking takes stamina. Um, if you get hit. And considering it's a boss, he would probably just uh, break my poise immediately with a single hit. Uh, but I can do that. Okay. I don't know what I can do with it. Like, does that 
act as a dodge as well? I'm not sure. Um, if we go into equipment and we look at this. So my great knife causes blood loss buildup. I don't know what that means. Um... I do help explanation uh, quick step the name of skills you can use using well skills consumes FP okay does it does that just mean I can it's like a uh, yeah the blood loss would be does definitely sound like a bleed status effect um, I'm trying to figure out what quick step is though and that's the that's this thing that I'm doing a little like ooh. That uses FP. You can see the top left corner. I have used some FP now. To do that. I'm not sure if it acts like a dodge. It's called quick step. Maybe it's just a way to like... Um, close the distance more quickly. I'm not sure. Stuck on the rocks. Stuck on the rocks. At least, like, I. This guy actually feels doable, unlike a uh, horseback man. <laughs> horseback man does not feel doable. Horseback guy definitely needed a, a later fight in the game. Yeah, that is not going to be... It's not for me for a bit here. I don't know what that one attack does, but where he like grabs, grabs the blade and like lifts it up above his head and then smashes it down on the ground. 
when he like lifts it up above his head, I can't hit him. Like you see me swing at him and I completely miss. It's really annoying. At least this guy is not the type of boss where you're forced to do something specific to beat him. Uh, that we know of, anyways. <laughs> I haven't quite made it to phase two yet. If there is a phase two, we'll see. I do like that I can just run past these wolves. That is very nice. By the time we get out of this cave, I'm going to have a lot of cave moss. That's for sure. Okay, he just opens up with the best attack. Ow. Whoa. 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 You see that? He did it again. Push the wrong button. Dude, it's going to take me so long to remember that X is not an attack button. Oh, he's doing this thing. Please stop. Oh, nice. Okay, good hit. the hang of his moveset though so that's good <clears throat> i need to remember that uh he has two two different versions of his quick attack um he has one where he does swipe swipe wind up smash and then he has another one where he does swipe swipe wind up smash wind up swing because <laughs> that that fourth swing is what's getting me right now I just walk I just walk right into it and get smoked. And I need to not do that. Hello doggy. I always die like right in the middle there. I like that. Yeah, that thing right there. Oh. 
Oh. I accidentally pressed the heal button instead of the uh, attack button. All right. I also lost my targeting on him there for a second. I don't know why. Um, the target button is right stick. Oh, uh, I think I have one of my paddles on my elite controller. Yeah, I have my bottom pad bottom right paddle on my elite controller bound to right right stick. And I think I hit that on accident. That's why I lost tracking. Okay, that was weird. Dang it. Did not do as well that time. I feel like as long as I, I don't know why I keep hitting a, it's not actually loading the game faster. <laughs> uh, as long as I get at least one third of his HP though, I, I, I feel like that's good. I'll take that. There's a wolf right there. Hey there, bud. All right. Come here, bud. Whoa. I just, I'm so used to X being the attack button for like games like this. Dang it. Um, especially cause like the last like difficult game that I played was uh, Ender Lilies and the attack button was X. You just mashed X. I mean, you didn't just mash it. There was move sets that you had to do, but it was mostly X. I wonder if I can rebind it. Can I rebind that control? Excuse me, button settings. Um, and maybe I can change my attack to X. Can I change my attack to X instead of right bumper? And then, here we go, use item will be right bumper. Ah, see? Now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking. 
Now I can use X to my heart's content. I can still use right trigger for heavy attack. But now X is the... Yeah, let's go. Okay. We'll give this a shot. Oh, hey there, bud. I, I caught their attention. It's not good. Just gonna sneak right by. Hey there, bud. Okay. We're good. We're in the clear. Oh, no, he's right there. <laughs> okay. really got stuck in that rock. Get out of the corner of the rock. And right, now we're dead. Okay. Hey, uh, but I got further than I ever have. Also, my game just crashed, so that's cool. Um, but apparently, all you need to do to get past 50% of his health is change your keybinds. Easy. Uh, okay, restart the game again. Is that three crashes now? Yeah, the true final boss. Game stability. So I've also been playing another game off stream uh, like the past couple weeks. It's it's uh, it's technically an early access. It's called um, Dyson Sphere Program, but it's uh, it does it crashes anytime it auto saves <laughs> and it's really annoying. You cannot disable auto saving. Uh, you can only increase the interval at which it occurs. So it by default it's every eight minutes it auto saves. Uh, if you change it, you can max it out at 25 minutes, and then if you manually save, it restarts the timer on that. So basically, what I've done is I just maxed out the the slider for the auto save interval, and then I just try to remember to manually save within every 25 minutes so it doesn't auto save and, and crash the game. <laughs> I will stop uh, exiting out of the game in a way that's not good when you stop crashing on me. Limits of guarding. Attacks with certain affinities, such as fire or lightning. Oh, cool. Uh, I died outside of the thing? Uh, cool. Yeah, gotta go with what works, exactly. I wonder if that means my souls are going to be outside of the boss room now. <laughs> uh, you don't remember, do I like roguelite games? Um, I haven't really played a whole lot of those. Um, it depends. I feel like something like, uh, Hades would be okay. Um, 
only because there, there's a whole lot of additional content, but when it comes to roguelites or just rogue types in general, um, the gameplay loop is what I find to be uh, difficult for me to really get behind. get close on that one. lived I could have finished that on one HP I could have that was really good though that was a good run that was a good run yeah I for the for the mind you so take this with a grain of salt but I haven't tried that many rogue like or rogue light uh games uh but the ones that I have it, I just felt like once you get once you like died a, a few times like nothing new was happening like you just kept going and doing the same thing, except maybe progressing a little bit further in the level and then just dying again. And I didn't really ever get a sense of progression with with the ones that I tried. So, um, yeah, Hades, though, does look very interesting. Um, I like the look of it. And uh, I have watched some people play uh, through good portions of it. And so I do know that there's a lot of story and lore behind it, which is like my kind of game anyways. Um, and you get a lot of that in there, so it's that would definitely be one that I'd be willing to to get into, especially since it's on Xbox Game Pass. That's not good. Dodge. There we go. Dang it. Oh, one HP again? Oh, he got me. Okay. 
How's the game volume, by the way? Is it good? When the music gets loud, is it is it too much? I must have just the right amount of of defense on my armor and everything. Uh, where the right combo of attacks will leave me on exactly one HP because that's the third time that's happened. Game sound is fine? Alright. Yeah, that's the third time that's happened now. So I uh It can't be coincidence. Get him to stand in the fire? No, I don't think so, because I don't take damage in the fire. Dang it. my stamina to regen here. There we go. Thank you. How he hits me with that he like he doesn't swing his sword there but i still take damage anyways sometimes so i don't know if he's like pulling his sword up and like punching or like pushing with it i don't know um i'm getting Pretty consistent uh, now in how low I'm getting him before I finally die, though. I think I need to stop being so aggressive uh, once he gets below one-third health because his attacks are a lot... Uh, there's not as much time between his attacks there. Okay, well, that was cool. Not great. Eat that. why I got close to him there. That was stupid. Dang it, dude. 
<laughs> it froze again. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe there's something wrong with my computer. <laughs> like, I don't know. But it's really frustrating that this keeps happening. My computer doesn't have problems with any other programs. It's literally only games. Uh, Halo kept crashing on me. This is crashing on me. Dyson Sphere program is crashing on me. Uh, where's Task Manager? Oh, there it goes. It actually like just crashed the desktop by itself. Um, I don't think I died, though, before that happened. So that's good. I guess. It just means that I won't have to collect my, uh, my monies. I am liking the change to putting the attack button on, uh, the X button though, rather than right bumper. Leaving hostile signs. With the duelist furled finger, you can leave a red summons. Oh, I'm glad I got that. Hey, I still have my stuff. Okay. Dodge that one, weirdly. There we go. All right. <laughs> First try, guys. I just started the game up. I already beat this dude. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Flame Drake Talisman. All right. What is this? Easy peasy. Um, I don't, oh, here we go. Flame Drake. So what does this one do? Oh yeah, this one raises maximum HP and this one boosts fire damage negation. Okay. Oh, so I doubt, so in regards to your question about does the campfire damage him, I'm going to say no, because he was carrying something that reduces, uh, fire damage. <laughs> Okay, what is this? Oh, return to entrance. Um, I wanna... Okay. Uh, what is this? What is this thing? Just a little obelisk in the middle of the whatever. All right, return to entrance. We can do that. Grove side cave. All right, let's heal up. All right, we did it, boys. Oh, yeah. 
There's a guy right there. Acquire materials. Yeah, give me that mushroom. Mushroom. Now it's raining again. What was that? Herba. I got... It's literally just herbs. Um... It's a bird. Okay. Cannot jump up there. But I can get up here. Dang it. Alright. I'm just trying to get around all of these knights over here. I really don't want to fight them. was weird uh actually do i want to go to let's go to the map yeah here we go church of ella i want to go back to the church of ella and i want to upgrade some of my stiffs go use smithing table so it requires one smithing stone in order to do this no it requires two smithing stones in order to do this okay well never mind i was gonna upgrade it but never mind Uh, okay. We can fast travel to here now, I guess. And we'll just come back out of the... ...of the thing. Here we go. Whoa, hey, bud. Come on, guy. Turn around, please. Go the other way. Oh, he comes way up here. I did not expect him to do that. There we go. You know, just for the fun of it, I will kill you. That's not how I was expecting to do it, but that is how it turned out. Okay, uh, this looks like an encampment <coughs> with a bunch of guys around it. Um, if I look at this, oh, I see it. There's the next thing. I just walk past this fortress and just go over to the thing we're jig. I can. There we go. All right. Um, okay, so that one wants me to go through the wall. Probably go around. Can I go under? I cannot go under. Boop, 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 doop, doop, boop. All 
All right, he did. Open. What do we got? Ooh, Lord Soren's great sword. Very nice. Maybe. No clue. No clue at all. If it's any good. What do we got over here? Gate front ruins. Got a dude there. We got a we got an herba. Whoa. Hey, bud. It's like Assassin's Creed where you like kill them in the bushes. Okay, there's that guy. All right, we'll get that guy next. I really want to find uh, a person to help me upgrade myself as well. Uh, like my levels and such. There we go. Okay, we got that. A flail. Okay. Uh, I think that's another dude on horseback over there. I don't, I don't like that. How many dudes on horseback are there? So I wonder how many guys are in this fortress area in total. Oh, there's a guy with a wolf. Gross. I don't like that. Also, that captain right there, he looks like he's going to be strong. Is there anything on the back of here? No. Okay. The tree is so big. All right, let's get up to the campfire over here. Or the point of grace. Can't I pick this? No. Oh, okay. Um And then we're going to take a look at that long sword and see how good it is. So, in no equipment. Oh, I suppose we. Can, oh, I'm not a high enough level. FP cost five. Attributes required. I need sixteen strength. Uh, I also need ten strength. And 18 dexterity to use the flail. Well, shoot. That's unfortunate. What do we got up here? Stormgate. Um, do these people hate me? Ow, ow. Oh my gosh. Ow. What the? Oh, 
Okay. Um, hold on. Oh. What is this? Okay. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. She got scars on her hands. I offer you an accord. <laughs> She's only got one eye. <laughs> okay. Have you heard of the finger maidens? No. I have not. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid. Are maidenless. Yeah, you don't have to remind me I don't have a girlfriend, but thanks. I can play the role of maiden. <laughs> oh, can you? Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. Oh. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. <laughs> what happens if I refuse? Then it's settled. I don't know. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Okay. I think this is the person who helps ah, me level matter. up. I bequeath to you this ring. <gasps> I got a ring. Are we married now? Spectral steed whistle. <gasps> Do I get a horse? Use it to traverse great distances. Yeah, let's go. It will summon a spectral It just says game over. She just kills you. Named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. A uh, horseback guy just comes out from behind the camera and just chops your head off. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Yes, please. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. All right, we're leveling up. Your ambitions, the principles you would follow. She's still talking. With the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute increase. Okay, so it doesn't cost more runes to upgrade a single attribute. It costs more runes just to level up in general. So I can upgrade once. No. I can upgrade... can upgrade twice it's, it's gonna look like so vigor gives me more hp mind gives me more fp endurance gives me more stamina and max equip load it's pretty good uh strength uh that increases my defensive power Dexterity increases my attack power. Only goes up by one. Oh, what the heck? Uh, intelligence. Oh, wow. Intelligence makes a ton of stuff go up. What the heck, dude? Oh, both strength and intelligence. Uh, faith makes a ton of stuff go up as well. And arcane makes a ton of stuff. Wow, what the heck? What does discovery? Um, help. Menu explanation. No, okay. Help. Explanation. Uh, discovery governs likelihood of finding items on the corpses of defeated foes. That's kind of nice. Um, I think I want to do strength and dexterity, though. 
That's going to make me do more damage and take less damage. I mean, not a whole lot. Everything only goes up by one. <laughs> Still. Okay. Uh, sort chest. Memorize spell. With the Memorize Spells menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. Okay, well, I don't have any of those. So... All right, horseback riding. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of Crimson Tears to do so. You can dismount by using the Whistle again or by pressing left. All right, pouches. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. Ah, I see. Okay, so that was, what, inventory? What does this do again? Small gold effigy. Oh, yeah. Sends a co-op sign to summoning pools. Here we go. I want this ring. So I, s I leave selected. I don't remember how to do this. Do I go to equipment? Ah, uh, here we go. Yes. We go here. And we select that. Okay. Quick item six. Oh, but I didn't want to put it there. I want it up top. Uh, equipment. I want it to go above. Uh, remove? Remove. How do I make stuff go... to the top part of my, of my wheel? I'm also gonna remove those. Um... I thought this second row would, would put it on the top part. But apparently not. I don't want the ring where my Estus flask is. That just seems like a really bad thing to have it. Why am I gold right now? I'm glowing. What does that mean? Oh, there's another... Oh, there's more glowy trees. I didn't notice that before. Hey, uh, Fear... Oh, my, my glowy thing disappeared. Fear, would you mind googling how to make your stuff go on the top part? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Hello. Hi. Good sir. Um. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fight you and the guys with the bows. Uh, shoot. Hey there.
There we go. Hi. Oh gosh. Please leave. Please leave. Oh, this is bad. Hello. Watch out for that stomp. I also really need to get away from uh, that broken down wall. What the heck, dude? Missed his face. Uh, that is not. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, well, now I'm dead. <laughs> Question is, does he... Oh, he has, like, something in his stomach there. Uh, yeah, here. Okay. I wasn't sure if, when I spawned back in, if he would be in the same spot or not. Okay, so... If I do this... If I do this... Huh. Dang it, dude! <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, hey, look. I see the big dude. He's up there. Hello. Hello. How many arrows does it take to kill this guy? There we go. Headshot. Oh my gosh. He's still not dead yet. He didn't take any damage. Oh, that's so stupid. Come here, bud.
Okay. Can I... Am I allowed to run up here? Nope. Big dude's angry now. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna leave. Whoa. That arrow just curved. Um, also, he's like... Not fighting him. Come here, bye. You see those arrows curving? That's crazy. There we go. Okay, let's get out here, away from the dudes with the arrows. Get him in the butt. Ow. Oh, he brought his sword out. Okay. Hello. Can I hit his leg, please? Okay, that was a big hit. Heal up. There we go. Oh, come on. I just need... Oh, gosh. I just need one more hit on him. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Now I have to deal with this guy. Can I get over to this thing here and hit it? Please, 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 please. Oh, yes. I didn't have any more heals left. All right, I, sh I should have enough to level up one more time here. Uh, actually, maybe two more times here. I do dex twice. Seems to do a lot here, so let's do that. Okay, is big guy back up there? <gasps> no, big back, big guy is back up there again. Shoot. I did not realize that was gonna. Uh, what happens if I? I need, I need to Google this. I need, I need to Google. Um. Elden Ring, how to equip to D-pad up. Old... Uh... What? 
I'm confused. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I how do I put stuff in in the in the deep in the thing? Messages, status, what's the status? Ah, uh, this, 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 okay. Um, oh, pouch. Ah, here we go. Okay, switch. Um, actually, let's put. Yeah. So put that there. And then this, this one can go here. There we go. So now we can. <laughs> During mounted. Double jump. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I love it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Shoot. Okay. We're just gonna. We're just. Ow! I'm just gonna run past these guys. Please don't crush me. Okay, he absolutely crushed me. What the heck? I'm just gonna run past all these guys. I don't care. Storm Hill. Golden Seed. Whatever that means. Oh, these guys are still following me. Please don't see me. Okay, we made it. They, they de aggroed. I wonder if that means we can go up to where uh, that dude was now. The big guy, where he was standing? If we can go up to where he was standing. a lot of sheep around here. That's a wolf. Uh, there's two of them. I could take them. No big deal. What is that guy doing? He's a little confused. He's got the spirit, but he's... There we go. Village corpse! Thin beast bones. Uh, what are those cactus things? Oh, no, 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 come back. Oh, uh, I'm not following that to whatever that is over there. Uh, we got two more wolves. Okay, but here is the thing where the big dude is standing. Oh, there's actually quite a few things over here. Uh, let's pick these up. What's this? Rune fragment. Okay. Oh, we got another one over here. Two wolves. I think that's the wolf pack leader right over there. Actually, we got three wolves here. <laughs> hey there, doggy. If I just leave.
Okay. Oh wow, we're getting a lot of rune fragments and stuff. Eh. I'm not really sure what these are all for, but I hope they'll be useful someday. Can't go, like go underneath that, can I? No. Uh, that's a dude tied to a chair. A tumbleweed. Hello, good sir. Okay. <gasps> I got a smithing stone. That means I can upgrade my dagger. I don't know if I want to though. Like, I don't know if this is a good weapon or if I should save my smithing stones or something else. Also, what's the name of the place that I'm in right now? Not really sure. Oh my gosh. This is, this map is huge. Oh, what the? Oh, no. Ow. Ow. Bump of flesh, huh? Ow, what the? How'd you, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. So does that mean... Nice. It just uh, refilled two of them. I will take that. Um, oh, here we go. I see the light. I see the light. Hopefully I don't get ambushed by something that will kill me before I get there. Uh, there's some guys on the road. However, here we go. Good. We touched grace. We got another merchant. Kind of. I think they're dying. Ooh, I got a stone sword key. Very nice. Uh, I do know what those do because I found something that they opened earlier. Everyone's been grafted. I don't know what Everyone that means. Who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. Uh, I got a new emote for talking to her. <laughs> I can now sit sideways. And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that uh, makes us... Also fear, I, I made myself have two different have colored eyes. It's scary. You know, I have a lime green and like a... Or legs. Or your head. Like a neon want blue. To be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. I mean, it's okay to be scared. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? Oh, if you talk to her a bunch of times, you get spirit jellyfish ashes. I don't know what that is. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. 
It'll be glad of your company, I think, for let alone. Um, when sp with a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. That's a... Uh, getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Kind of creepy. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale. Yeah, you can stop talking now. Okay. Uh. Inventory. There we go. Spirit jellyfish ashes. Summons a spirit jellyfish. Pretty cool. Uh, level nine. Oh, that's no, I'm level nine. Select an item to interact with. If I go to equipment, and I select this. Her name. Ah, oh, the uh, the spirit, the jellyfish's name is Aurelia. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Use to summon a spirit jellyfish, a floating spirit that illuminates its surroundings. Prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for her distant home. Will bravely spew poison at foes on her summoner's behalf. Well, that's nice of her. Okay, so now if I do this. Gosh dang it, it's assigned to the bottom. Why? I don't want it down there. How do I assign stuff to the top? That's what I need to know. How do I assign stuff to D-pad up? This is so frustrating. Okay, and now it wants me to go that direction, huh? Uh, memorize spell, talk to Malena. Yeah, what, do, what does Malena have to say? This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Erd Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now... It is all that guides you. Also, I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. There we go. We got that cinematic, like, uh, turning here. Okay. Got a lot of guys up here. Just want to pick that up. And then I saw something else glowy over here. Got this. Golden Ruin. Okay. Question is, can I walk around all of these guys? Or do I need to fight them? This looks like a cool building over here. Let's go check it out. Hey, look, there's a big giant guy over there. I fought one of those. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's a tree trunk that I saw. Oh, are you kidding me? He got past me, bro. I suck at this game. Uh-oh. I heard him yelling. I think we need to go up the, uh, up this road over here. I wonder if I can get at least one sneak attack on them before they... This guy right here. There we go. Ow. Okay, we did it. Oh, I got uh, two of my things back. Uh, smithing stone. And a mushroom. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. <clears throat> Apparently, I still need to find a map stone of some sort as well, so that way I can actually like unlock the whole of the map. I'm gonna assume that the road has a bunch of stuff on it. What? What is this? Uh, what? With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at sites of grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have you. That was not the time. <clears throat> what the heck was that? Oh, gosh. Can I de aggro these guys? Okay. Apparently, again. That's good. Um, let's go this way. <laughs> Hmm. 
There are like vampire bats hanging out over there. Not really something I'm interested in right now. What is this? Lump of flesh. Oh gosh! Ow. Well, now I'm dead. Okay. Upon dying, you will be revived. Don't want to fight these guys unless I have to. Just want to kind of go back and collect my my money. That sun looks pretty cool. I like that. All right. I can hear the giant yelling over there. <laughs> okay. Where did I startle the bats from? That's the question. I don't see them around here. Looking up, because they're probably going to be hanging from the ceiling somewhere. I still don't see them. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, I did not get their attention this time. Yeah, they're still over there. Okay. I don't have anything with good range, so I, I, especially for flying enemies, that's not something I want to get into. Uh, I mean, this rock is cool, but what's the point? I don't know. I have so many roa fruits. It's ridiculous. So what are we at? At the three hour mark, huh? Alright. We should be about done for today anyways. I don't want to go see what's at the end of this bridge. Probably death. That's my guess. Oh. Hello. You. Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Uh, please don't cut my fingers off. Grand lift. Oh, but 
The bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. She doesn't have any eyes. Why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. You, please, I can read them. Uh, I'm gonna decline this time. Actually, can I just walk away? Yeah, there we go. We got one solitary figure just chilling at the end of the bridge. Where does this bridge go to? Oh, I guess you can kind of see where it goes. Yeah, that's weird. Why, why does he have such a long neck? Ooh, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 7. Oh. Okay. Um. There we go. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but we're going to give it a shot. Maybe this is a back entrance to the castle, so I don't have to go <laughs> straight on into a uh, into a fiery catapult of death. Ooh, we got a cave. Hello. Okay. Gonna, gonna drop into the void. Wanna make sure I don't get like caught by an ambush somewhere over here. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of places where Come here, bud. No! I wanted his stuff. Oh, there's a there's another dung beetle thing down there. got him. I'm not going to chase him. I think this leads to the other side of where the bridge was, and I don't think I'm supposed to be over here yet. Let's, can I sell my row of fruit at some point? That would be great. Stutters. Ooh. We got some wolfies. Okay. That one's taking a nap. That one's stuck on a rock. sucks. I just lost all my stuff like way over here. <laughs> all right. That's fine though. Uh, we'll cut it here for today. Uh, tomorrow we can go back and, and get what I just lost. It wasn't too much. It was only a thousand, but early game a thousand is still a lot. So, um, this map in game is huge. Uh, right now you can only see this section, but this section is like, I want to say like 10% of the overall map. This place is absolutely enormous. So um, we'll come back to this tomorrow though, 2 p.m. Central Time. And uh, we're going to pick up right back where we left off. We're going to go grab our souls and then 
Oh, actually, I don't know if I can come back because we had to jump down the thing. Ooh. Well, we'll figure something out. Um, oh, we can fast travel. That's a thing now. Oh. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll come back and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. So, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks for chilling, Fear. I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. But if I don't, that's fine. Have a fantastic weekend. And until next time, Mythic out. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you later.